Well, that's a taste of the morning. I'm Francesca Fiorentini, and this is the news. Wait, no, it's not. Children, they're just like us, only smaller and with more phlegm. And these days, being a child, keeping a child, and getting the right playlist together to make a child is more challenging than ever. We start with online learning, something that sounded much better in theory, like worm composting or the Trump presidency, which are, in fact, the same thing. Recently, millions of students, parents, and teachers have turned to online classrooms, and for the first time, they can actually all agree, it doesn't work. Researchers say the average American student lost a third to a year's worth of learning in reading and three quarters to a year in math since schools have been closed. But they did gain a year in TikTok choreography and 10 months in existential dread. Hashtag life skills. While Mother Nature is trying to wipe out humanity, mothers and fathers are struggling to raise it. And if working and schooling from home wasn't bad enough, many workplaces aren't adequately accommodating parents in this brave new world. As a result, almost a million women have dropped out of the workforce, most of whom have children, which means in a few years, they'll have a new full-time job as a cutthroat stage mom. Look the f*** out. It's gonna get bad. Working parents, on the other hand, have troubles of their own. Sharing a workspace with their children has led to little ears picking up on their soulless professional communications. So if you thought your kids repeating everyday phrases like, give me my mother suck ass Cheerios was scary, just wait till you meet our next guest, the six-year-old that lives across the street. Hi, little one, what's your name? Madison, let's like finally touch base. Hi, Madison. So how is distance learning going for you? Well, let's just call it open beta and let's face facts. Testing is not showing any real world compatibility for this model. Uh, I, I suppose not. The scale is all wrong. And between you and me, management is tied up trying to maximize the shareholder value. What does that even mean? Look, Francesca, I'm not sure what the ROI is on this conversation. Can you just get back to me with your quarterly report and we'll circle back with the whole team? What, do you at least want an ice cream shaped like Olaf? I'm Olaf and I like warm hugs! That's what I thought. A real human child, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well played, girl. <laughs> Here's the scoop. As one researcher put it right now, kids are feral. So it definitely didn't help that a pharmaceutical company in Spain switched the labels on children's acid reflux medicine and medicine for hair restoration, effectively creating wear children who sprouted hair all over their bodies. I'm telling you, it's only a matter of time before bands of untended tots and stinky diapers start roaming the streets demanding more phone games and some Night of the Living Paw Patrol. They're mad and they need an N.A. And of course, if there's an upside to this moment when it comes to kids, it's that having them at home means that they're safe from mass shootings. I'm trying. <laughs>